let's take a look at the overall workflow for a data set in Geopack Survey. Firstly, I already have a DGN file open, in this case AFG DGN, to 2D V8 file, and I also have a survey project created. So those are my prerequisites for my data set importation. The general workflow is all going to be followed from the data set menu. We have data set new, open, edit, save, copy, etc. The main workflow is going to be data set new, which will import our data file. Then we will go to data set edit, which will allow me to open Geopack survey editor and edit that data file and make any changes to the raw data that I need. And then we will go to data set reduce, which will allow us to compute the coordinates from the raw angles and distances and target heights in that data set or OBS file. And then lastly, import to GPK. That will be the last step from the data set menu. The remaining step will be to go to visualization and then to visualize that data set. Now let's go ahead and do the first part which is importing and creating our data set. I'll go to the data set menu, select new, and I already have an existing data set called AFG1. I'm going to choose to overwrite that data set. My description is optional, I've called that AVI demo. And then I've chosen a data file in my survey project preferences. That type of file is Sokia Elites, and then finally an SDR3 14 character. I've placed a check mark next to this box to allow us to create a data set name the same as the output subdirectory. So in our case here, since my output directory is blank, I'll receive a folder created in my DGN folder called AFG1, and that folder will contain all my data set files. My data set file I'm importing is this b01.sdr file, and I'll go ahead and delete this by highlighting and clicking X just to demonstrate how to choose this file. To do that, I'll choose the Dataset Add Source File to List button, select that. That's going to open up a window where I can browse and pick the file I need. Select that file, and once again, select my b01.sdr file. I can either highlight this file and click OK, or just simply double click on the file. Once I've done that, the file name and path will be filled out in the bottom of my dialog box for new data set, and then I will click OK. Down at the bottom of the screen, very quickly, you'll see some messages in MicroStation status bar, and then we'll receive the message that duplicate control points were encountered. This message is just simply telling us that there were multiple control points in the SDR file and that the last one was the one saved into the CTL or what we call our control file. Let me click OK to acknowledge that. And then as a check, we'll go take a look at that control file by going to Dataset, Control Editor. And there I can verify that I do indeed have control points, just two in this case, three and four, in what we call our CTL or control file. I'll close the control editor and then we'll move along to edit the data set raw data itself. To edit our data set, once again we'll go to the data set pull down from Geopack survey menu and we'll say data set edit. This will open up the Geopack survey editor which is going to open up our OBS file. Of course that will contain setups, in this case just one for a topo file set up on point three, a group of all observations which are all the points shot as side shots or back sites in this file, and then any chains that were created. Much more detail on the Geopack survey editor is given in a separate file about the Geopack survey editor. For our purposes here we just want to use the survey editor to verify that our correct file was imported and that the setups and side shots appear to be correct as well as a brief look at the chains. I'll go ahead and close the survey editor and then move on to our next step which is to reduce the raw file or our control, use our control file and OBS file to calculate coordinates for our points from the raw data. To do that, I'll go to my data set menu once again and choose reduce. I'll have four reduction options here. The first one shown is network least squares which we'll use in a moment. The other options are no adjustment, compass rule, transit rule, and then finally the network least squares which is the one we will use in this case. Simply choose that. 
I will go ahead and click process. That will bring up a brief processing report from our least squares engine. I'll take a look at the bottom of that report, look at some various information such as standard error of unit weight, and how many stations or points were written to my XYZ file. Now what I would like to do is take that XYZ file and import or bring that into my GPK database. So I will go ahead and close the text editor, close the reduction dialog box, and then once again from my data set menu I will say data set import to GPK. Now my points are within my GPK file but you can see they're not in the DGN at this juncture. So I'll go up to my visualization menu, I will choose visualize, and the default operation is to go ahead and visualize the last active data set. In our case here that would be AFG1. If I desire that data set or other data sets I can click on set search, choose other data sets that are there, and even go into more detail to refine that choice. In our case we just have the one data set AFG1. So I can cancel out of this and click process. And you will see the points and chains be drawn into our DGN file. And of course the symbology for those is taken from our SMD file as well as our cell files that need to be attached. To see which SMD file is attached I can simply go up to visualization and choose edit SMD file. This file is password protected to keep people from modifying standards. So I'll click cancel and then we can see the SMD file that is attached. In this case is an SMD file called lincoln.smd and the cell file I'm using is from the microstation menu. It's under element cells and this is called surveyv8.cell. Now that my points and chains are in the DGN and GPK file I can edit those points, manipulate chains, find crossing break lines, and create 10 models. To review the process or general workflow for the data sets, it's simply data set creation, which is done with data set new, then data set edit to perform any editing operations we need to do. Next is data set reduce to calculate our coordinates for our points and chains. Then finally from the data set menu, it's data set import to GPK. And then we can go to visualization and visualize to draw our points and chains in the DGN file.